Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this not so lazy Sunday afternoon where I'm going to attempt to watch it all. I'm watching it all, missing the Emmys, watching it all to catch up with Black Sails. This is season two, episode seven or episode 15. I didn't think having them title their episodes by chapter numbers would throw me. And I don't know if it's because it's in Roman numerals or just numerals altogether, but it does. So we have a ceasefire. Flint's gonna take Abigail to see his old buddy up in the Carolina to plead Nassau's case. <sighs> this seems planned fraught with, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, variables. Fraught with variables. And uh, Anne, Anne, Anne is in a bad place. And she apparently she gets stabby stabby and slitty slitty when she's in a bad place. So we're gonna get comfy cozy, all of our <laughs> snacks and things. Beverage, what is my citrus forward beverage today you may ask? Well, this is a limoncello suggested by one of my patrons, Francesca. Hi Francesca, she doesn't watch this series. She watches some of the other ones though and she said she had a limoncello spritz and it was refreshing and I thought, hey, that sounds good. And I happen to have a bottle of limoncello in my fridge I've had for decades. Don't know what to do with it. Woohoo! And I looked up the recipe and I had all the ingredients. So part of me went, yay, I have all the ingredients. And the other part of me went, wow, I have all the ingredients for this because it's not pantry staple beverage ingredients, but I'm ready to go. Haven't had it yet. Should be delightful. Well, that goes down easy. <laughs> gonna be fun so we're going to start watching and if you're watching me on patreon thank you so very much we're gonna sync up uh, your copy of the show with me as we push play at the same time and and share the excitement together yeah so if you're ready i'm ready let's get to it okay time to start rebuilding the fort time is of the essence do you think she's here lady hamilton is on this island she is. She's a friend, and she wants to help rescue you from this place. Captain Vane gave me his word I'd be unharmed here. Things have changed. Mm-hmm. Wow, she took the word of a pirate captain. By the time anyone realizes you are gone, you will be safely away from here and in the care of Captain Flint. <gasps> She's heard of Captain Flint? Unless she overheard them talking earlier. I know Captain Flint's name. My father has mentioned it in his letters. He says Captain Flint is the most wicked of the New World pirates, that he's evil. Captain Flint is a good man. If you don't trust my word about it. Depends on which side of the musket you're looking at. Oh, they're voting now? I'm here in Europe three. I have Just a four. Three? Winslow? Winslow. No, he's a Yevo. When did you ask him? A little while ago. He got into it with Muldoon over last mess. Said Muldoon was chewing too loud or something. Muldoon's in your camp, so Winslow flipped as a fuck you. <laughs> wow. The thing that will decide this vote hasn't happened yet. You're going to convince them they'll feel better about voting for you over him. I think I got a pretty strong case. Oh, they have to have a debate bait still? Though still, his argument would seem to be the easier one. Sure. Captain Flint will betray anyone to get what he wants. Yesterday it was Mr. Gates, today it was me. Which one of you would like to be tomorrow? Very likely argument. A man asks for your trust. He asks and offers you things in the future. It's no surprise that that man wants to shift your attention to the future. To the things he says he can give you. Now here's the thing, the Walrus crew have seen the gold with their own eyes. So that's something for them to consider. The launch landed on the beach a short while ago. The news it brings is of the utmost importance. More important than losing our ship to Captain Hornigold. Is it yes. the army? The navy? The navy. Wait, are those those fellas? They're supposed to be watching over the gold until we arrive. Because there's no longer any gold to watch over. Oh! 
Oh, that went quick. It is as if it never happened. Mm. I think tying you to yesterday's events is gone. Physically, maybe. But internally, that scar is raw. Wound is raw. raw. We'll turn into a scar. <laughs> and the kind of crazy thing is, I just realized Jack doesn't know any of this has happened. And I don't even know if he knows about the guy that she stabbed in the jaw either, right? I was married to a man once. Raised his hand to me. Burnt me. Didn't know I could do anything about it. And one day we were in a tavern. He was hurting me. And the man saw it. And he walked over. And he slit his throat. Uh, is this when she met Jack at 14 years of age? That was Jack. I was 13. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long was she married for? That is terrible. Maybe Jack took me from something I was supposed to figure my own way out of. Maybe he took away the chance to get strong enough to save myself. Mm, no. I think Anne poses an interesting thought. However... I think she's also forgetting the time period she was in and how little... Like how her husband treated her was allowed. That was expected almost. So she, I don't think, would have ever had an opportunity to save herself. Ever. What she did to Charlotte. Don't. That's not something we know how to protect against. Shouldn't we be focusing on getting her out the door right now before it's one of us next? This girl seems like a liability now. There are men we can talk to. When no one in the world. No one could care less about what those men were doing to me on the beach she did that means something to me and those men you would talk to about solving this problem they value their relationship with me far more than they do yours or isabella's or anyone on that floor thanks for making that point max i will not receive that news well is that clear don't make yourself a liability Two guard of custom men are all sitting right in the bay when we arrived. Watch that gold disappear from that beach piece by piece. So it's on two different boats now and no schedule. Because they don't know where those boats are going. Unless they keep to the same schedule, but that would be weird. The good news for you is, Warner Gold's support has disappeared completely. Really? There are many proposals for what ought to be our next score. Including ransoming <gasps> that hostage girl of yours for cash instead of favors. Uh, they all know about the girl, too. Wow. May we have the room, please? May we have the room. Interesting. The case for returning the girl to Charlestown in exchange for reconciliation cannot come from me. I've just had my authority challenged. But if it came from you, we might just stand a chance. Let me stop you right there. We stopped being a thing of any relevance about an hour ago. Is that so? I believe I've been clear about the nature of my investment here. Very. Crystal. I'm of half a mind to wonder if you didn't orchestrate this whole thing to your advantage. That's a lot of orchestrating. Those men listen to you. They give a shit about what you have to say. Where else in the world is that true? Where else Ooh. would you wake up in the morning and matter? Ooh. You walk out on this, and where the fuck are you going? Oh. Intriguing, intriguing argument, sir. You'll address them then. And say what? And say what? I know what I'm doing. First item of business. Mmm. Mmm. What were you going to do with it? I was going to walk away from all your people and never look back. <laughs> I mean it. Mm -hmm. But now, no gold. We're back to the same two choices we've known our entire lives. Toil for another man's benefit, or steal for our own. Unless... 
Captain Flint just showed us a third way. Did he really, or is this something? Check. John's spinning. Reconciliation. Oh, he's spinning. Is he spinning? Pardon. <gasps> he's spinning. With a little help, this place could be the reason we never have to do either again. Oh, he's spinning really well. Truly amazing. <laughs> a political alliance with the most dogged pirate hunter in the new world. Because once they were friends. Wow, everybody knows what the plan is. I think it's clear what needs to happen next, Billy. If you and I know we have the opportunity to save eight of them from that fate, doesn't our oath compel us to do so? I don't think those pardons they have are real. I think those pardons are a way to trap them. And free them from their mortal coil. Do you think you could find eight men that would see things the same way? Men who would be willing to betray the captain. I can think of two. We do. When we have the bluffs in an hour. Oh, he's got an hour. He has an hour. An hour. Huh. <laughs> so these men who aren't part of any of the cray cray of horny gold and flint and vein and whatnot wonder what they're thinking about what's going down they're like oh i'm glad i'm on a ship that could care less about what's happening we're just going to keep on pirating and ha, -ha. done <laughs> done it's better on wednesdays dude not the time don't you know who i am no why you famous mm-hmm on this island yes Jacob Garrett. There's my Jake. There's my Jake. I have been wondering this whole time. We've had a Jack. We've got a John. We got a James. I was waiting for the Jacob. Jacob and the Jimmy. <laughs> I only tell you this so when you start hearing Captain Jacob Garrett stories, you'll be able to put a it's face Captain. to a name. Jesus Christ, Jacob. Take her upstairs. We ain't got all night. No. Why me? Is he new? He seem nice. Oh, what do you think? No. She's going. She's going. Oh, this Max gonna bust in. And how would Jacob know that she is new? Because it sounds as if he is new there himself and has no idea who's in this place. Dude. This would be your clue. All is not right. No, right? Max, where are you? Max, get her! Look at those shoes that she's wearing. She hasn't worn shoes like that in forever. Are you kidding me? <sighs> well, at least it was Adele. Okay. Left another man downstairs under the impression he was their guest for the night. Look, I wasn't trying to make any trouble, right? Oh, Adele. <laughs> Go. Oh, God, these two. I forgot about these two. Oh, I was born here. Oh. Here when I was a child. oh, yeah, I guess I never heard how Eleanor got came there. But you seem a formidable woman. <laughs> Perhaps it was the exposure to the challenges of this place that made you the person you are. Exactly. Exactly. I don't think they're gonna make it out the door. I think Charles is right there. My headphones aren't allowing me to close my ears. Are they rested shut for reals? Well, let's make some more noise, Eleanor. 
how did the other guys get into the fort? Oh, how many have one, two, three? Oh, he has some people. Did you secure the skiff? Billy, someone's coming. Could this be the captain? <gasps> oh, oh, these guys. These guys? These guys. Have you ever been tortured? Oh, Billy has. Suffered pain applied by men who saw you as less than a man. It's the knowledge that even when the pain stops, even if they were to let you go, that they've changed you. That pain, that despair, has made you someone else. Mm-hmm. I said what I had to say to get out of that place, but I have no intention of honoring their offer. Then why did he tell Dufresne about it? I would fight to the death to ensure not a single one of my brothers ever has to face what I faced. So that means he's taking down the Navy. But why tell the friend? There's a man on this crew that feels differently, that feels as though he'd be willing to accept another brother suffering that fate so that he might avoid it. Then that's the man I need to remove from my crew. So... Well, Mr. Dufresne here has identified you men as the most likely to represent such a problem. Was he right? Don't appreciate being fucked with Billy. Yeah. If you ain't got the balls to stand up to Flint, maybe you should... <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to stand up to Flint. Maybe he is understanding Flint more? There will be no more dissent against Captain Flint. There will be nothing but adherence to the principle that we are, none of us, safe. Until we are all safe. Does anyone have a problem with that? Oh, I have thoughts. Let me see if I can keep them until I can spill them out. But Mr. Who's so -e -so -e, Lockwood, Mr. Lockwood, was that who it is? Was not amongst the, huh? Well, now Dufresne's got to die. He's got to die. When they see that you've gone, they'll search every inch of this fort until they... Put out the torch! Put out the torch! You know where the gate is. They're coming. Help her out, girl! Let me help. Now, now she wants to help. Now she wants to help. <laughs> they are so loud. They are so loud. Run. You don't need the key to lock it again. Just slap it shut. I don't know how these kinds of lock works, but just go. Why are you, why? Oh, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Eleanor. Oh. <sighs> I saved your life. I killed him. For you. Yeah, both of yous. Both of yous. I killed them all. To protect you. Mostly. Mostly. It's one of the three to your plan. So what's the plan? Leave me to answer for this among the men. I see them, they'll tear me to pieces. Listen to me clearly. Abigail, I would have ran by now. A time ago, and I will sort this with the men. You have my word, but lock that gate. I think Vane does mean that. And there is no walking back through it, ever. You will hear from me again. And he knows where you live. Eleanor, you better be on that boat with Abigail. Wow. He knows where you're gonna go. He probably already has guys that went out the front of the fort waiting to meet you on the beach. You're not gonna get far. You shouldn't be getting far. Oh, we got back to Mrs. Hamilton. 
Captain Flint set sail to return her to Charlestown. Do you intend to join them for the voyage? What concern is it of yours? Charlestown, ma'am, is not London. Does he want to go? I'm Miranda Hamilton. Do you remember me? Now run. Run. <laughs> Eleanor, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? I don't know if I trust this sign of affection. Kind of feels like too little, too late, Pops. But maybe she doesn't care right then. Come, <laughs> what's happening meanwhile? Oh, John! <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't suppose you'd mind sharing that bottle? What is the plan now with no gold? Like, hmm. Hmm. Because there is something we really ought to discuss. Caught in a hurricane. That is gone. Is gone. And the only reason it's on my mind right now is because I'm planning a trip to Puerto Rico and I'm trying to avoid hurricane season. 18 defectors over the last few hours. <gasps> 18! Defectors. Interesting. Hang on one miss. Dufresne. Mr. Dufresne. Oh, he did leave. He did leave. Why am I supporting your captaincy? Yes. <laughs> I remember as I was falling, reaching out, grasping your hand. And the last thing I remember before I went into the water was feeling it slip away. So Flint did try to save him, but he let him go. It's just as likely you let go. So it's still unclear, only Flint knows. I likely never know for certain. It's possible you'll never even know for certain. I believe that for what comes next, the men of this crew will need your leadership. So I will do what needs to be done to preserve it and protect it. Mr. Gates turned his back on you. Don't think for a second I'll make the same mistake he did. Tell him why. Tell him why. Yes. We're from the tavern. Miss Guthrie's asked for you. This episode has a lot in it, yet again, I still feel like we're stalled in the same place waiting for something to happen. Will she remember James? I go, though he does look a lot different than when he did before. Oh, is Horny Gold tucking tail and running? Perhaps it has cost me a side. Or perhaps it's just taken me this long to realize this place has been dying for a long time. Ooh, thought! I have a thought! I have a thought. What if he didn't have to go anywhere? Oh, jeez, Dufresne. Now, Dufresne, the pardons were not given to you. They were given to Billy. You are not in possession of them. I took her without his consent. That means run, James, run. Run. Over the past few days, it's become clear to me that the prize we both wanted is becoming less a prize to him and more an obstacle. Yeah, good gold. But what I do know is that he would ask my help to make it happen. And at that point, the gold would be as good as gone. Why are you telling me this? Because does John know where the gold's really going? A few hours ago, a launch arrived. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. They told Flint the gold was gone. They have the gold. What did they tell you? That a tropical disease had befallen the Spanish camp. Oh. Only a handful of men defending it, most barely even able to stand. Oh. It is almost entirely undefended. So where's the Spanish boats that were coming to go get their fallen ship. So, do you know of a crew who might be willing to aid in this endeavor? Yes, she does. 
question though, I don't think it's all $5 million of gold. I think some of it's on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, good God. Oh, who's gonna... Oh, oh, Vane's attacking her dad. Vane is killing... Is Oh, Mr. Guthrie, you're going to be killed now. You should have left in the morning. Although I don't know if that would have saved you. Turn around, ride back. Turn around, ride back. Well, that's a way to leave it. Hmm. Hmm. So many thoughts, so many thoughts. Because again, this was another episode where, I guess it's all like season one, where we know we need to go, but so much gets thrown in our way that, ugh, ugh. So John, was John never given the Nassau speech by Flint? I'm guessing not, or maybe John wasn't catching on. That the gold meant so much to Flint to get Nassau's legitimacy. But I still think that gold is a good backup. I don't know if Flint's... Was Flint seriously going to leave the gold on the beach and take just take Abigail to North Carolina? He wasn't going to go back to that beach at all. I would think he would have made a drive-by at least just to make sure it was still there. The interesting twist... So Billy, Billy's scheme, was it a scheme? Hmm, his, hmm. Cause as soon as he's gotten the island, he went to Dufresne, who I'm guessing he figured was pretty much a good ally. Tested the waters of what the sentiment was towards Flint. Saw what was going to happen with the fort. Horny gold, they want Flint taken down. So he used those pardons as a way to weed out who was really not Team Flint, which I think would be obvious by the vote, would be obvious who's not Team Flint. But he used them to for certain find out who would be the obstacle that would make Nassau an easier target to the Navy. Interesting approach. Because I kept thinking like, why now? Why then? Why did he do that? But I guess he figured it was as good as time as any to dangle that carrot. Since the gold is no longer in play to keep men interested, he's got to find another route. Interesting. And my note I wrote about horny gold. <laughs> about him saying maybe he just didn't realize the island was dying. Which I found interesting because Flint and Eleanor are like, this island can grow. It can become something. This could be everything. It's a newborn Yet Horny Gold thinks it's dead. Interesting. But then we threw in Dufresne going, they're going to go to the Navy and think they're going to survive that visit even after. If, if they were successful in delivering Flint, they would still stay alive. I think the Navy cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted. And the fact that, speaking of not be trusted, the fact that they still have Abigail on the island, obviously in a Guthrie stronghold, or a place, they didn't immediately take her to Flint's ship. I would have immediately taken her to Flint's ship. Because Vane's going to go get her back. <laughs> He's going to take out whatever on Mr. Guthrie. He's not done. What makes you think Vane's going to go, Okay, you got me on that one, Ellie. No! No! And Jack still asks, so, so, okay, okay. So we're going to have two ships leaving the island. Flint to Carolina, John to get the gold. And then what? Wow. <laughs> well, that was something. That was something. Okay, episode 15. Hoo -hoo, thank you all so much for being with me on this adventure. I know I probably missed something because my brain was whirling. It was whirling. So, uh. Hope it won't be so long until we reach the next one. And until then, as always, please take a moment for yourself. Breathe in the delicious garlic spicy smell that I can smell from down the street. I can smell it. 
stretch, stay hydrated, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.